Red Wolves control the tap. Went on a historic run to make their first championship game appearance in program history. Knifing down the left side of the lane. The lefty lay-in is through, and Marist is on the board. For Notre Dame, Keba Jai starting his second consecutive game. Guard Julian Roper the second is out with a foot injury tonight. And the lefty shot is through for the aforementioned Jai. Shot clock into single digits as Collins rises and connects. Notre Dame has started 0 for 2 from downtown. They rank 343rd out of 351 Division I teams as Maris big man playing keep away in backcourt. Deep in the timer. Pascarelli pull up and he buries it. Do things at the end of the clock that are special on his own. Burt in the lane, throws it up with the right and gets it down. Shot clock already at 10 for Marist. Collins, nice find, the cutter right down the middle, Trace Salton with an easy one. Burt, deep in the clock, rising fire, it's good. Piece of the floor right there, that's the second time someone slipped right at the top of the key. Burton all alone for a three, and he splashes it home. Shot clock at six on the inbound. Allen spinning in the lane. Throws it up, left it short, and a shot clock violation forced by Notre Dame. Deep in the lane. Throwing it up in Jaden Daughtry, who's known for his defense. Over penetrating in the lane, Nothing, nowhere to go. Collins absorbing contact and he's muscling it through. They recruited this kid for over two years, really wanted him. Driving kick, Booth lines up the three and he cans it. Burton trying to turn the corner. Drive and kick, an open three from Zona, and the Fighting Irish are on top for the first time. Baseline drive, nice feed in traffic. Davis is in trouble. Burton pulls up. That is so smooth from Marcus Burton. Another long scoring drought for the Red Foxes, over three minutes this time. Allen, yes. One phone call a week. One of the most, one of the many ridiculous <laughs> rules that they fixed over the years. Burton all alone. And the freshmen's in double figures with 11. Well, it's been hard nosed Notre Dame defense turning it into offense. And Marcus Burton to the rack. Probably a little bit of a force quick shot by Braden Shrewsbury on that possession. Points have come at a premium tonight for Marist. But Marist has gone ice cold. Deep in the shot clock. Burton one-on-one. -on -one. Step back three blocked. It's a flutter shot. The ball gets stuck on one side of the floor. Maris will usually suffocate it. Zona has it blocked off the glass. Outside to Shrewsbury for a three. No, and there are three red jerseys in the neighborhood for the rebound. Maris needs to move the ball as well because Notre Dame's defense has been solid. Inside of 90 seconds left in this first half. Pirouetting, Allen gets position with the drop step. Burton downhill. Davis slicing in, and he puts it in off the glass. Burton a long way from the cup. Pulls up from 12, and he's got 13 points to lead Notre Dame. Deep in the shot clock, Burton gives it up. A three is good from Konezny. He's their leading scorer on the season and tonight. Went down with an injury just moments ago. Collins. Cooley's three on target. Burton's three is cash and he's up to 18 points. To take away the drive and he made a pay. Marist on this end without their top scorer, Max Allen, who tweaked a knee a couple of possessions ago. He's been out for the Red Foxes.
If Flora space properly and you move the ball, there's going to be opportunity to, to cut to the rim away from the ball before the defense shifts. Allen had the basket for the Red Foxes on the other end. He's in double figures with 10. Trying to get downhill, losing his footing, blocked. Konezny keeps it alive. The runner from Booth, the freshman. Hook pass to Cooley. The southpaw to Allen, banging into his man. Double pump, and he finishes around the rim. Imes in some trouble. Booth has to hoist. Banked it in. Harris has started this second half three for eight from the field. They have just eight points. Allen the step through, and Allen 14 points. Harris catch and shoot three. That's a big one for Maris. Collins, shimmy shake, deep in the lane, off the glass, falling to the floor, and he goes. They swarmed the basketball. There was nothing there. Notre Dame was fortunate, actually. It was probably a three-second violation before they turned it over inside. Collins count the basket. John Dunn said, we recruited Jaden Collins for a long time, and this is why. He's a 63% foul shooter, a miss, offensive rebound. Six to shoot. Davis trying to get to his spot, trying to clear over Allen, throws it up and gets it to rattle in. Davis in the lane, whistles it out on the arc, five to shoot. Shrewsbury fall away. That's a tough shot from the freshman. Marist That's has missed the last five game. shots. It's been one and done for the most part with Marist. Not, not been able to get any rebounds in that. Hey, Davis. Well, you don't get this opportunity much against Marist. Stop and start. Collins knifes through. That's good offense by Marist. Changing. Sides of the floor, found an opening on ball reversal. Now a steal. Collins with a gimme. Well, they're very efficient offensively. You know, they have their system. They're not going to rush the, rush it up the court unless they have opportunity. And there you have opportunity, Burton. Harris, a three. It's in. Notre Dame's lost three in a row, trying to avoid their fourth straight defeat. Burton in traffic throws it away. Collins on the break. Feeds it ahead in the freshman Pasquarelli's streaking to the goal. Harris quick trigger three, and it's buckets. They've answered the call. Without Julian Roper, he's still... Hung their hat on defense and down the stretch made enough plays offensively to win this game.